Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the Tikris Max. This is a cell phone watch. Yes, it's huge. It's massive. But it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 4G, everything all built into this massive watch. Of course, it's got a camera, heart rate monitor, GPS, and yes, it plays games rather well too. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the specifications for the Tikris Max. As mentioned, this is a smartphone, so it does support 4G LTE networks as well as 3G and 2G. It has an MTK 6739 CPU. It runs Android 7.1.1. It's got a 2.86 inch or 640 by 480 pixel TFT IPS display. It has three gigs of RAM with 32 gigs of storage. 2880 milliamp hour battery which will give you about two to three days of usage it's got face unlock a 5 megapixel front facing camera it has Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 gigahertz at 802.11 a b g and n notice there's no AC support it has a GPS built-in and Bluetooth 4.0 all right so let's move on to the unboxing this package came from China and as you can see here, it made it here just fine. So we're going to go ahead and open the box here. So we'll cut through the packaging. And wow, look at the case. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Whoa, that thing's freaking huge, guys. Oh my gosh, it's like having a cell phone on your wrist. Okay, I have to be honest, this is, this is, <laughs> it's massive. Uh, I don't know if my wrists are big enough. Yeah, we'll give it a try here in a minute. Alright, so, uh, yeah. That's uh, the Lim4 Pro on the bottom. That's what I reviewed some time back, and here they are together, and yes, the Tikris is mighty large compared to it. But with a 640 by 480 pixel display, that's pretty sweet. And we'll go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and power it on. I'll speed it up here, so you can see the whole boot sequence. And yes, let's pick our language. English works for me. We'll go ahead and hit confirm. We'll go ahead and enter our weight and height and all that kind of stuff. You could probably scan this on your phone and download the app if you're really interested in doing that. It's actually a cool app. Anyway, we'll go in here and go to settings and we'll go to display. And in display, we can go in here and set the sleep time. I'm going to go ahead and set it for two minutes so it doesn't cut off while I'm reviewing this thing. And we'll go ahead and finish opening the box. So we'll go ahead and take this out and see what's in it. And I'll speed it up for you yet again. Took me forever to open this box. I don't know why. Oh, in this screwdriver? It sucks. Don't use it. <laughs> I wound up using one from Dollar General instead. It was actually much better. Anyway, this is the charging unit. This is what you'll use to charge your Tecris Max. So you just pop it in. The magnets are good and strong and holds it very well. We'll go ahead and take a look at the user's manual. And it includes a screen cover, which is nice. And we'll just take a peek here at the manual. And I will let you pause this if you want to read any of this. Of course, I read about 2% of it myself during this review, which is probably not a good thing, but <laughs> yeah, it's easy enough to figure out. I've used these kind of watches before, it uses the same basic format for all of them. 
All right, so we're at the end, at least for me. I don't understand Chinese, so we'll put that up. That is one thick wristband. Damn. Smartwatch. There's a little SIM slot there. I guess I should probably take my SIM card and pop it in, which I did. And these little screws, they're a pain in the ass to put in. I'm... If you check this out, look at the little screw I try and put in here. See, I'm popping it, trying to put it in here, and... Okay, that one kind of... Well, it bounced out. That's because the base is magnetic. Which, <laughs> it makes it really tough to put these little screws back in after you pull the SIM card out. So, just to let you know, it's kind of a pain. Uh, let's take this darn thing off. It's kind of in the way. Alright, so we'll go to connect, we'll go to Wi-Fi, and we're going to go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi. And we'll go ahead and connect up to our network. And then we'll select our SSID and enter our password. And then we'll hit connect, and up at the top you'll see where it's obtaining the IP. Connected, no internet, and boom, now you have internet. Connected, sweet. And from there, we will go ahead and go to the Play Store, the Google Play Store. And you can find all kinds of apps right here in the Play Store, so you can download whatever you want. I've downloaded a few. We'll go ahead and try... Soda Crash. Soda Crash. And we'll go ahead and install it. And I'll speed forward through this so you don't have to watch it all. And yes, you can play Soda Crush right here on your Tetris. That's pretty darn cool. I did test out these Echo Buds with the Tetris Max. These uh, Echo Buds are made by Amazon. They're pretty cool and they did work rather well. I'll go ahead and show you the testing that I did here. I just put them in my ears, hit play, and it does a little sound test. And apparently it can figure out that uh, what I have in my ear is correct, which is cool, I guess. Hit continue and go through it and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, yes, I changed the face here a little bit. And I'll show you more on that in a little bit. But uh, here's the camera. It's a 5 meg megapixel camera, which is fairly decent for a watch, I presume. Here you see the 4G communications to my T-Mobile network, and I have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I can turn them on and off from there. Just simple swipes, left, right, up, down. We'll check out the heart rate monitor. And we'll see how I'm doing. Yes, I am alive. That's good. You can see all the different readings that I've collected over the past week. And here are the steps that I've taken. Number of steps today. Yes, it was early in the morning when I recorded this. <laughs> anyway, pretty cool. Alright, so now we'll go into the GPS here. So, there's my house. And, yep, it shows me right there in the office. And that's pretty darn accurate. That's about where I am. Now we'll check it out outside, and as you can see, you can see outside in the direct sunlight fairly well. Uh, you will have to hold it up maybe a little bit so you can get the right angle, but yeah, it did pretty good outside. I was actually impressed with it. This camera isn't doing it justice, but anyway, I could see it just fine. Here's the text messaging. Yes, I sent a few text messages while my son was at the skating rink and worked very well. Oops. We'll swipe out of there. We'll go back into settings. And I want to show you some of the sounds. So we'll go into... Uh, let's change the ringtone. You can add your own, of course, but uh, these are some of the ones that came pre-installed. Alright, well, now we'll move on to display. We'll go into the brightness. Yes, you can adjust the brightness levels. 
And the app list style. This is pretty cool. You can change it to bubble, which is reminiscent of the Apple Watch. So you can just drag around, pick your applications that way if you prefer. So if you're coming from a Apple Watch or Apple environment, you can do that. I'm going to go into MAME for Droid, and we're going to go ahead and launch Mappy. We're going to check it out right here on the Techris Watch. So yes, you can play your favorite arcade games. So I insert a quarter, hit start, and use these little virtual buttons on the screen. What a huge difference from the early 80s watch type games. Here we're playing the actual arcade ROM right on the watch. <laughs> Crazy. A lot of fun though. I enjoy playing Mappy. And then I moved on to another one, Pocket Studio Space Shooter. And it's a fun little game. It wasn't super challenging to me, but I didn't get into the higher levels, so maybe they're a little bit tougher, but yeah, it was pretty neat. Something worth checking out, I suppose. All right, we'll go ahead and change the app list back to the matrix style and then we'll go into gesture and here you can flip the switch so your screen comes on as soon as you raise your hand which I found kind of annoying late at night in bed and if you go into more here there's some somewhat hidden settings here you can go to the screen lock and enable that and we'll go ahead and set a password here in just a second Go to Face Unlock, and yes, you could use your face to unlock your phone instead of having to do this little thing. This is just as a backup. So let me put my face in here so you can see how it works. It was kind of hard to record this, but there we go. Got it programmed, and now I'm going to go ahead and turn the phone off, or the watch off, and turn it back on and then use my face to unlock it. Now it's in the unlock and it saw my face and boom it's unlocked. Then I can go in and do whatever I want. So I thought that was pretty cool. Nice little feature. Also in the about watch section here you can go to wireless update and you can update your watch if there's any new firmware updates you can check here and It'll update your watch. I like that. That's a nice feature. You can go into the web browser here and we'll go to the techris.com website. Check out their website right here on the watch, which was pretty neat. Of course, you can play videos and all kinds of stuff. You can also take pictures. <laughs> That's me recording. And we'll hit the button here and go into the gallery. These are some photos I took of my wife while she was freezing at my son's baseball game. All right. From there, there's a fitness application. And here you can do an outdoor run, outdoor walk, indoor run, all kinds of different settings here. And it'll keep track of your progress, which I thought was pretty neat. You can play football, which is soccer in the U.S., ping pong, and badminton. I didn't realize that was such a thing, but I suppose it is. Uh, then there's a calculator, so you can type in some math equations and so forth and hopefully get the correct answer. I guess that's right. You can also take your finger and drag from the right bar in the bottom right and extend it so you have more options. You also have a whole slew of options when it comes to your watch face. This is one I picked and notice how I can move my finger around and it interacts with the background which was pretty neat. I can also select this one which is some sort of flame which is nice on a cold day. Which today it actually is. And then we'll tap this one 
And this has a whole bunch of tiles. This is kind of reminiscent of a Windows Phone type of UI. So we can tap here and go to the Google Play Store. Or I'll hit the top right button and go back. You just basically hold down for a second or two and then you can rotate out and pick different types of screens that you want. There's the heart rate. Hold it down, pick a different one. So you can alternate all the different watch faces. This one's pretty cool. My son liked that one. Just let you take a look at them here and see what you think. Of course you can download additional watch faces if you'd like. I downloaded a few, but I think some of these stock ones are pretty cool. I couldn't make heads or tails out of that one. If you'd like to see more coverage of the Tecris Max watch, please leave a comment below and let me know. And then here's one with a flower. So yeah, there's a lot of different watch faces that are included. Overall, I really like this watch. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the screen is obviously very large, which is a plus or minus depending on your perspective. The older I get, the more I appreciate these larger screens on a watch, but uh, hey, that's just me. Overall, I think it was an awesome device. I made several phone calls and so forth, and hey, if you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, we shall see you very soon.